morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm MeG69. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, Object 268 uh, used to be one of the best tank destroyers in the game. Like, uh, it was it was fun. It was a fun tank to play. But, of course, over the last year or so, I fell out of love. I did fall out of love from the Object 268. And I'm sorry. I am sorry because it is a nice tank. Uh, but with the introduction of the Object 268 version 4, there wasn't really any need for me to play the Object 268 um, because this was just much better in, every, in almost every single way. However, it's been a while since I've played it. It's been a while since I've reviewed it. And I am I regret I regret not playing it because I did have uh, a lot of fun playing this tank and I've just seemed to forgot like actually do you know what just because the object 268 version 4 is better there's still there's no reason why I can't play the object 268 because it's still a brilliant tank it still looks fantastic um, and you can still have fun whilst planning this tank and doing a lot of damage so the stats of the object 268 so it has uh 2775 dpm now uh this is with calibrated shells so the more penetration you don't have to use the calibrated shells now if you don't use the calibrated shells you're going to get almost 3000 dpm uh but so it's totally up to you and to be honest I don't think you need calibrated shells but the, for the purpose of the video we are going to use calibrated shells the penetration is fantastic. The armor, for what it is, is actually good. You can get bounces. You can get troll bounces. Uh, and people have to actually aim at you. They can't just look and snapshot you unless they're very, very lucky. So you do have... Um, it's not solid armor, but you have armor that can actually work um, if, you, if you're lucky. So the whole armor is 195 millimeters, which is all right, which is not bad at all. They be, but, but, but let's have a look. So the DPM, as we've said, 2775 with the calibrated shells, almost 3000 if you run it with the rammer. The reload time is 14.49 seconds and the penetration with calibrated shells standard is 318 and on your heat, 400. 418. 418 makes it one of the best in tier 10. You will get through almost anything. You, literally just about anything you will be able to get through. Also, your HE, uh, your HE pen becomes 99. So that is why I probably would run it with the uh, calibrated shells to get that 418 pen. But even without it, you're not losing too much. You've still got a high pen. It depends what you want. If you want the DPM or if you want to almost guarantee your, uh, your shot to penetrate. And of course, with the higher HE pen, 99 is pretty solid. So so you've got a 670 alpha on your AP, 570 on your heat, and 1000 on your HE. Aim time is 4.1 with the gun dispersion 0.344 with 7 degrees of gun depression, and you go 48 kilometers per hour. Now, the thing with the Object 268, you can play it uh, a fairly sort of different uh different play styles you can either play it where you're camping uh you can play it where you're front line uh, with your team there's all different it's quick enough to go with your mediums um and that's what i like you know that's why i like things like the grill the waffle anything like that because because of the speed of the tank it does make it versatile you know it depends how you fancy playing it and again it also depends on what map you're at so here uh, we're on Castilla and I was going to go up I am going to go up but I didn't intend to stay in this position but seeing as there are no other tank destroyers coming up here I thought you know what a tank destroyer when you have three tank destroyers one of you needs to be in this uh, this position so that is what we are going to do we're going to sit in this position now we do have to watch out for the medium on the enemy team because the enemy has three tank destroyers as well so if I get spotted they could be staring at me and I could be absolutely torn apart, like within seconds. Uh, of course, you have that pen and you need to make it worthwhile. So we're just going to aim, we're going to get the shot and that's a nice AP pen into the IS-7, a 596 roll. So a bit of a low roll, uh, but um, with 600 damage, I'm happy with that. Now we do get spotted and I'm actually risk, I risk staying here. And again, another low roll, lowish roll, just over 600 damage. Uh, I 
got away with that. That was a bit stupid of me just for that shot. I, I stayed there for quite a long time. And if all the tank destroyers were staring at me, we would have just been blown away. We would have just been back in our garage within a minute. So that guy's now gone. So I don't have to worry about him. And the rest of the team look like they've all pretty much gone right. There's two tank destroyers there. Uh, so great. So here is the... Uh, the E4. So we're going to go for the blind shot. And as we literally just uh, he we spot him or he gets spotted, we see that the tank uh, the shot bounced. So that was unfortunate. It was just we hit the wrong part, uh, our own fault really. So we're now going to go for the bottom plate, and we are going to switch to the heat just to guarantee the pen. And we do clear him for our first kill. Now on this map, if there is all uh, all heavies, then this position is absolutely fantastic because as long as your heavies do your job their job in keeping the team where they are now then i can just have free roam you know i'm not being spotted i'm going to shoot that guy 756 and i am not being spotted so i'm just far enough away uh, to not be spotted so as long as they're there i could just completely wreck them and we get another nice shot there 664 again we're just going to back up we are while we are reloading just in case we do get spotted so so far we've now managed to farm three thousand damage now watch with i'm thinking okay is7 is around there and of course meezy the blind shot king strikes again and we do manage to clear that is7 now the crime wagon is coming around three to one can we can we get the shot of course we can so we have now got three kills and there's just two tanks left alive so we're almost full hit points so at this stage in the game we're just going to push forward we're just going to push forward because it doesn't really matter too much because it's a five versus one we're all pushing together i had no shots there and to be honest with the object 268 this is this is how i prefer to play the tank i prefer to do what we just did camp get the damage in and then use your mobility to rush in later on so we're going to do that we're going to aim for the grill because he's the more easier target we're going to get 753 damage into him even though he's using the uh, small liner and now we don't really want to go for him because we want to go for this full hit point crown wagon uh but the that guy is dead anyway now i was hoping this guy just carries on uh, not facing me because we would have been managed to get a juicy HE shot into him. Now, this is with the penetration, I still uh, managed to mess up here. I still go for the only part that uh, I can bounce. The only part of that tank frontally that I will bounce, I managed to hit it. Like, that is stupid of me, but we got the win. And even though we camped at the start of the game, we still managed to get 4.7k damage and we do manage to get a first class. And we even got the sniper medal there. Um, so that is pretty much, there's my mother, go away. <laughs> go away, mum, I'm recording. So even though we camped, we still managed to uh, to get a bit of damage. And uh, yeah, so the next game, this is a bit different. This game is a bit different and we're not going to camp. We're not going to camp. And Again, as I've said, it all depends on your play style, all depends on the enemy uh, opposition, all depends on the map. You have to not just get in the Object 268 thinking, you know what, I'm just going to go and sit at the back with the Object 268. you got to just look, 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 you know, this map. I'm thinking, you know what, there's one medium and one light tank on each team. I'm going to use my mobility, I'm going to use my gun, and I'm going to help my mediums. I'm going to help my mediums clear, because I don't like camping on this map anyway. It's not really a camping map unless you go on the tracks. But I thought, you know what, if I help my mediums, we'll be able to clear these two, because the enemy are not going to expect me to be here. They're going to probably expect me to be the other way. Now, unfortunately, don't quite, I mean, I did mess up a little bit. I should have got the shot off easier, uh, but we do manage to finally get a nice HE shot into him. So if I wouldn't have come, if I want to come here, that guy over there, okay, mum, okay, mother, that guy on our team would have probably already been dead, and it would have been a two versus one. So I think me coming this way has definitely helped these guys out. As you can see, the leopard is dead, and now the uh, enemy leopard is about to die. So, And we've got all our team, especially this side of the map, 
all still alive. So my medium and my light tank is still alive. And now I can again use the mobility of the tank to get behind or get to the side of these guys. While our uh, heavies there and our tank destroyer is keeping them there, I can now get to the side of them and pincer them in this little section. So they're not going to be able to move. Now I know that there is a fosh at the back. I'm not interested in the fosh. And before you know it, I start pushing around the back and the enemy just start dying. They start falling apart and we get a nice shot into him. And there's at this point, it's a seven versus three. There is nothing that these guys can now do. So I'm going to ignore that IS-4 because I'm thinking, okay, my guys have got in. I'm now going to just go for this IS-4. And again, nine, uh, 645 damage. And I was going to ignore him thinking, you know what, but how is the other IS-4? I looked and I thought, wow, he's still alive. How is he still alive? So I'm going to actually turn back, ignore the Fosh, and I'm going to go for this IS-4 first. So we do get the final shot and again another nice roll and we do manage to clear him with now just the Fosh remaining but no hope for the Fosh here. I'm at this point I'm thinking come on please just reload, reload before my team absolutely destroy him. Bit of a low roll but we do manage to get the final shot and again another 4.7k damage and that was played completely the opposite way to we played the first game. So it's there. You can play it however you want. It all depends on what map it is, what your team is, what the enemy team are, uh, and you have to just make that decision as you join the battle. So it is still a fun tank. It's. Uh, I'm sorry that I let you down, Object 268, but you know, there is the Object 268 version 4 now, and it is, it's, it is still fun. It is still fun, and maybe I should start playing it more. But you guys definitely should play the tank. If you haven't got the Object 268 version 4, this is still a brilliant tank that is definitely worth the grind. So let me know your thoughts on the Object 268. Is it a tank that you absolutely love? Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Meezy. I'm going to go and text my mum. See you later. Bye-bye.